All right, and we're back. We're back to Outer Wilds, of course, because I actually kind of just want to disconnect from the internet entirely until I beat this. So I don't want to accidentally get spoiled. I'm not even going on like Twitter or anything to announce that I'm playing this right now. Partly because I'm only playing for an hour. So I have something I need to do in an hour from now. So we got time for at least two loops. Maybe three, depending on if one of them is a little shorter than expected. All right, so we'll resume expedition. Where's my coffee? I got a coffee here, but you know what? This is more important. There we go, and we're back in it. So, where we left off, at the stranger, we were getting... We had taken a couple of trips to the other world, and we're starting to... Actually, I'm not starting to piece together. I'm starting to understand what the other world is. I don't believe it's an actual other place. I think it's, I still think it is some type of construct or virtual reality of some type or some sort of mental thing. It's not an act, not, not a physical place. The fact that you travel there without losing your clothes, but with, but without your spacesuit means oh damaged laboratory that's new i saw a laboratory with three test chambers the second chamber okay this is through the hull breach a laboratory with three test chambers the second chamber is badly damaged and can be entered through a hull breach in the side of the stranger i saw a vision like recording of oh i saw a vision like recording of someone picking up an artifact and going to sleep in front of a green fire the rest of the vision was distorted and difficult to make out but a flame seemed to appear inside the artifact I found a slide reel that shows three experiments conducted with three different artifacts. The third experiment appears to have been a success. Yeah, so I remember that slide reel. The second artifact, that, like the second version of the artifact, we don't exactly know what happened with that. We just know that the first one didn't do anything. The second one had some sort of mysterious outcome. And the third one had their intended outcome. Abandoned, abandoned temple. Okay, yeah. An abandoned temple marked with the symbol of a burning slide reel. It can be accessed from a passage in the Hidden Gorge. There is an interface upstairs that can be used to line up symbols in a vertical sequence. So we never figured out that code. I found a sealed vault. A slide reel from the River Lowlands showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains. Okay, so River Lowlands, Cinder Isles, and Hidden Gorge all had the slide reels for the associated with chains for the vault. Fire chamber. I looked through a peephole in the side of a large metal structure suspended by chains and saw a fire, green fire burning inside. So that was the all other world version of the structure, whatever you want to call that structure. The large metal structure. I'm going to call it the bell, even though it's not really a bell. Candlelit tower. This has new information. Shredded woodlands, a dense forest along the banks of a river. Endless canyon. I found a mural of a large tree on the bottom floor of the lodge. See, that's the room at the end. I was trying to figure out what that room was for. And it does seem like the mural is... It's an indicator that that's something I have to look for. Oh, and... I should actually mark the stranger on my... here. Now, did I already pass it? No. Maybe I slightly passed it, but not by much. Aligning flight trajectory. It'll take just a moment to get that, so I will pour myself some power. So, what I need to do 
is do like a diagram of this space, the station itself, the stranger. Okay, so I am going to zoom out. Too far away. Shoot. I'm trying to take, take a screenshot. Come on. Alright, there we go. Or maybe I should take a screenshot over here. for later. I'm gonna do some work on that later. Alright. Ready to hop in. Actually, do I want to go to the hull breach? Or do I just want to hop in and just kind of like frantically try to discover whatever I can discover? There is something important about that. That mural of the hollowed tree. Where's the light coming from? Oh, that's coming. Okay. I thought the I thought that the the whole place was moving, but it was just something that was blocking the entrance for a moment, blocking out the sun. The whatever you call those things. They're like weird sort of support things. Oh. I spammed the F key a little too hard. All right. Okay, we're good there. Let's hop along. Now, should I try to go check out the other world somewhere? Oh. Let's not go that way. Now that I think about it. Because you can quickly visit other parts of the other world. I'm going to continue calling it the other world. I don't know what else to call it. You can quickly visit other parts of the other world by going to their associated mortuaries. But if you stay in those mortuaries for too long, then the flood will wake you up and prevent you from. It'll, like, take out the fires and prevent you from staying. So going into the Hidden Gorge's mortuary is probably the best strategy to get the most time out of it. Now the question is, can you actually get hurt when you're in there? What happens if I were to die in the mortuary? Like, after going to sleep in the mortuary? So I remember last time, I was making a- I was kind of joking around about it, and then I ended up touching the fire and burning myself, and taking a slight amount of damage from it. I wonder if it's possible to actually die that way. Yeah, you know what? Let's make this a short one. Got a clear goal in mind. I didn't have to come all this way to do it, but... Now that I'm thinking about it, let's try it out. The circles lined up perfectly. Okay, we need... Oh, we need an artifact from over here. Where is... Oh, there's the artifact. Mixing up the right click with the E. Oh, come on! 
don't fall down all the way there. Shit. I just wanted to step back to take a look. I'm pretty sure that was just the green panels extending themselves. But I wanted to see if watching it would shed any light on how that works. We're in a, we're in kind of a, like rush mode so that I can get in some time before I have to quit because this is just going to be a short stream. I feel kind of dumb for falling out like that now. All right, so that's extended. And we take our artifact and we go to take a nap. gonna test if I can actually die here. So we know that our memories can be taken away if we stay here too long because that's when the supernova happens, but will this actually kill us? kill me though. Let's try that again, just out of curiosity's sake. Uh, so. It's the sort of thing where if you take too much damage, the light in your artifact will go out and that wakes you up. Alright, while we're here, so let's go up. There's a way to speed run this area though. Maybe coming up here isn't the best strategy for long term. I don't know if jumping like this actually helps me move faster, but maybe it depends on the type of terrain I'm on. How high does this go, anyway? Did I go up this all the way last time? This takes me outside, and... Is there a way up to the next level? Not on this side, there isn't. Okay, there's the little stage. So this doorway is probably how they get up to the next level, but I'm not able to open those doors. Another reason why I think this is not an actual place, this is just a fabrication of some type, is because you see a lot of them getting sad about their lot, their, their home planet. Which kind of implies to me that maybe they're sad they can't go back. So the fact that they are able to come here means they're not actually going back. They're... This is just a replica. If I stand back here, will that zoom me in? No, I have to be standing over there. Okay. Whoa, let's... Let's try that again. Wasted a little bit of time doing that. I thought I was being faster by jumping down the stairs and then I realized, oh yeah, now I'm gonna overshoot the thing I'm aiming for. kills you. I thought maybe that was some speedrun tech. Let's 
try that again, but get a little lower first. So I think I've kind of wasted too much time to make this loop useful for learning progress. So maybe I'll at least learn some new tech. What's with that down there? Is that where the dude with the projector is? Could be. Can I just do it from, jump down from here? I wonder. Okay, that's that. If they put this bridge here, it's probably the case that falling down here would kill me. That's not what I meant to do. Well, there's no sense in going to one of the other mortuaries now. noise is. It sounds like a monster screaming or something like that, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. How do I get over there anyway? Yeah, that's the dam breaking. You can hear water rushing up. I don't think it's going to hurt me here, though. Pretty sure I will stay dry up here. Like, I mean, not up here, but where, where I've gone to sleep, I'll stay dry. Come on. See, I feel like that has a purpose, but I don't know how to get to it. Do I have to be in a totally different area, maybe? Oh wait, it's lit. So that means whatever it's doing, it's already doing it. Does that mean I need to undo it, possibly? Okay, so that, that statue is lit, and this statue is lit. If I unlike the statue, that one stays lit. So it's not like the statues are directly related to each other. This statue is up there making something appear. I'm just not sure what. Should I just try to speed run this area? Maybe I will. pretty good idea of where I'm, how to navigate this area now. Oh wait, no. This is not the right way. I want to go up, not down. Yeah, this one. So, the fact that he's the only one that I've seen alive so far in the in the other world, in this dream world. And the fact that there is one empty seat at the tower, the Cinder Isles Tower mortuary, kind of makes me think that's him. Or her. Or it. They. I don't know. It's that being, at least. Over here. I think we're past the 10 minute mark. If 
I can use this to go to one of the other areas, that would be the best. Because the other thing too is... I'm not sure if there's any events that happen on a schedule in the other areas. It's possible that there is. But if you were to use the other mortuaries, you wouldn't see them because you might not, like, the events might happen after the flooding. Alright. Let's speed this up. Let's see if we can find the tower, the Cinder Isles Tower. Okay, that's the structure, the metal struck the bell. Okay, I'm not gonna go there right now. Let's continue on. I think once we teleport to the next area, we'll see the, uh, the tower. generate a new rack for us, so. This place is pretty creepy, but I'm not as threatened by this as I was before. Oh. you get here, you go through that other area. But I can't access that area now. Hurry up. There we go. <laughs> and zap it with light to make it hurry up. Is that the- no, that's the- that's the one in the- it's not- wait, is that the tower? It doesn't go very high, so I don't think that's the tower. Maybe the tower is in the next area. Was that structure? I didn't get a good look at that one. And that's just another lodge, I guess. So is there three areas or four areas? Okay, here's the tower. So I want to go into this burnt down structure here. I think. If I were to use the tower. What the hell? Oh, do I not have a way to get into this area? So I'm gonna have to use the tower mortuary to access this area. There's no dock. Oh, yeah. Some floating flowers. And yeah, so that's the music, that's the end. Hmm. Is this gonna be take us back to the first area? Yes it is. Okay. Well... I guess we learned a little bit there. We learned... We're gonna have to use the Tower Mortuary. And to do that, we'll have to bring an artifact from that the artifact met workshop near the beginning at the dam in the lowlands to the Cinder Isles. Because I don't think there's any artifacts. In... Actually, there is an artifact that I could get, but I don't know if it's particularly. I don't know if it's much easier than just grabbing an artifact from the workshop. It's just an alternate, an alternate way to do that. Same thing. Yeah, you can see those 
Actually, let's take a look. I'm curious, because I didn't take a close look. Since we're at the end of a cycle, got a minute. Can I get outside for the supernova or before my memories get taken away? Oh, yeah, there's still tons of stars here. So that kind of confirms to me this is not the real world because all of the stars should be dying out now. That's what I was wondering before, and I never actually got a clear answer. But since we're definitely at the end of a loop, <laughs> seeing how it just ended, and we saw tons of stars there, it's just a... I'm 99% I'm 90, sure it's all a fabrication of some type. Okay. No hard progress, but we learned a couple of different details that might be useful. Let's try to get into the mortuary at the tower. It's because there's something to do. It has something to do with that pit. Because one of the slide reels was showing them going down a pit of some type. And I'm not really sure what the significance of the pit is yet. Man, doing this, doing all of this would be a huge pain if you couldn't just lock onto the stranger. I didn't realize that at first until Slate mentioned, oh yeah, you can lock onto Planus. And I was like, huh, that's new dialogue. Why is he giving me that hint now? Turns out this is why. Ooh, I... Um, let's just leave. Ooh. I hope that's not my reactor about to fail. But I mean, it's not a big deal if it is. As long as I'm away from the explosion. Okay. Artifact here. It'll be hilarious if the game tells me suddenly you ship hull breach detected. Because if it does, that means my ship just blew up. Okay. I'm gunning her. Ooh, there's a ramp. Use that ramp. Ooh. It's my artifact. I am loving the music direction in this too, though. since I'm close by. Ow! That actually did a lot of damage. That's not cool. It is higher gravity. I guess I should have expected that to be a possibility. I thought maybe it'd be like stubbing my toe. But this is like, ooh, sprained an ankle. That. Oh, don't know why I turned off my flashlight. It's still kind of useful down here. Okay, here's the one with the empty seat. Find out what it 
Maybe we'll find out what's up with this empty seat. Oh. I don't want to spend too much time sitting here. I forgot that I had to immediately wake up for a second there. Oh. Okay, so there's this path. Now, I want to go somewhere here. I just need to find the right path to get there. Let's look around a little bit. Okay, that's the pit. I think I need to go down there. What's that noise? There's someone here. Freaky as hell. The fact that you can hear his footprints so loudly kind of tells me, oh yeah, maybe don't talk with that dude. Maybe he's not happy to have you here. might be afraid that I'm gonna mess something up for them, which, to be honest, I probably will. So I don't even know why I'm doing this. Uh-oh. That's probably a bad thing. Did I alert the guards? <gasps> what? That just woke me up. That just- okay, so... I want to be able to do this without... Was it the- the bell? The alarm bell that- no, yeah, it must have been the alarm bell that woke me up. Maybe I have to go over here and remove the alarm bell first. Maybe that's what that one porch statue is for. I'm acutely aware I hear footsteps. There's no upstairs. Wait, there is an upstairs. I just can't get to it from here. Was, am I wrong? Was there more than one still alive? Okay. It's gonna be a stat- like a torch statue that I need to use to remove the alarm. That's what I'm guessing. But I don't want that alarm to wake me up because then I can't get to the hole. way path. Well, I have to go the long way around then. Because this is where I went down before. not my goal, but maybe I need to do that, or to go there to get to my goal, or to find out something about my goal. I 
And like, when you hear those footsteps, you kind of half expect one of those big dudes to just come running at you down from a corner, a dark corner of the hallway, and just grab you and then you wake up or something like that from into the real world again. Interesting, so there's another torch there. Okay, is that... Huh! So this is like... Okay, so that's just if you want to go to another part of the, the world. One of the other areas. It doesn't actually help me out. But this... Oh, this is the secret entrance to the tower. Is there anything on this side? No. Will this take us to the top? Because <clears throat> I could never figure out what the purpose of the top of the tower was before. Maybe it was just there to give you a hint that you can do that in the dream world too. Okay, that's the real world. You can tell by the way the, the, the slopes, the hills in the background curve with the ring world. Okay. These, ca these electrical cables aren't doing anything, though. How much of this area can I see from here? Ah, uh, did I just kind of waste my time with this? It'd be cool if you had to come up here to get to zap yourself to one of those hands, but it doesn't look like that's the case. We have a little bit more of a stricter time limit with the tower mortuary, because the tower will get knocked over, and I'm pretty sure I will get snapped out of the dream world when that happens. Might happen before that, if the floods can reach me. Okay, so I feel like that might be useful from getting from one area to another, but it's not useful for what I'm trying to do right now. But it's good to know about, at least. Let's go back here. Here's an elevator. That's an elevator to the other level. There's no, there's no way to call down the elevator, though. So I can't go up and bug him and be like, hey, what's going on? So I could lose connection at any time. Good to know. Should I just dump over here? Oh. Oh, going sideways. Oh, interesting. When the tower gets hit, this entire world kind of takes a hit. That's an elevator. Man, I'm running out of options and I feel like I'm running out of time, so let's just take a risk. 
Oh, didn't quite make the jump. All right, we're on a slant now. This is probably gonna go any moment now, so there's no point in trying again. We won't have enough time, likely. Well, we can speed run that a little bit more and figure out what we're missing. We still haven't totally figured out what causes the dam to break. We just happen to know it happens around the same time these solar fans finish spreading out. Because it sounds like they're doing something. Or, if it's not them, then it's something on the other side. Because it's around that time that these panels become translucent. Because I don't think you can see the stars through them when you first join. Or maybe you can, but these are shinier now, so that they reflect the sunlight back at the solar panels. Avoid landing in the water, because that could be death. With the way the current takes you. Pick up lantern. This lantern is broken. I've already kind of explored all that I need to explore here in this room. Oh, there's a ramp. Oh, there's a ramp over there too. We'll take that ramp. Top up for fuel. All right. I'm not really sure what else to explore right now. We never could find the code for the the burned reel. Oh, thought that was gonna zap me, but I'm safe while I'm on this raft. Yeah, we never could find the code for that building up there. And that's the doorway we took to get to the front door there. So there's still something I need to figure out with that place. Once I get the code for it. And I don't think it's the same code that's used up here. Is it this build structure over here? I think it is. If it's not this structure, then it's on the other side of the dam. Ow! Missed. I was trying to get up. Get on up! Alright. This is that one. Let's just take a look. I don't think we have anything new to learn here, but fire mask, fire mask, no, mask fire, mask fire. There we go. So Okay, so this is the sunward side, with the solar, solar panels. This is the dark side. It needs whatever this vessel is to pull it. And I think it is being successful, but for whatever reason, there's something wrong with the controls. Which is probably referring to this. 
Oh, cool. This isn't a window. This is an L this is an LED screen. Let's see when you get up close, you can see the LED pixels. That's kind of a neat detail. I wasn't expecting that. Why is it right over there? Hmm. Should we go back to? Yeah, let's go back to the dam. We can't go up in there directly, but we'll have to go back to the beginning area. Okay. Push. We'll get to the other side of the dam. Go back through the entrance. Oh, come on. Let me through. Let me on. I don't want to go through the dam without this, because it tends to kill you. Ooh. Like that. Oh. Is this even going to work now? Oh, I just realized I have to find the entrance, which is probably underwater now. Well, actually, there's another entrance here. say because this entrance will not take me to the entrance where the elevator is I'd have to go get out of the space station and fly around the long way maybe I could have if I didn't let the current sweep me over way just now but maybe I could have gone through the entrance that I'm supposed to it's we're running out of time now though Let's try it, anyway. Ah, little scout's no good for lighting up the area when the current's going so fast. Come on, where's the doorway? Is the doorway here? It's probably up a little bit more. Is this it? This might be it. This is it. I think I got lucky. Now can I get in? Will it even let me in if the water's flooding? No, it's not gonna let me in. The door is the door is sealed shut when the floods are up. Okay, well, at least now I've got that confirmed as well. Well, the ghost- yeah, the ghost matter doesn't kill you when there's water here. That's good. I'm glad they kept that detail. It's weird, though, because, like, there's this spot, and then there is... Where was it? A part of the gorge that I'm looking at right now. Those are the only two spots in this new area that have ghost matter in them. Uh, okay. I don't want to quit, but I should. Before I quit, let's look at the ship's log just to find out what I discovered. That's new. So I'm pretty sure I got a couple of ship log updates. I don't know why I did that. I don't question it. You shouldn't either. Pretty sure I got some ship log updates. I've went to some new places I haven't been to, so... Yes. Okay, it's just the one. That's fine. Starlit Cove. A secluded village nestled within a cove. A candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. The well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell when it sees me. Of course, there's more to explore. Okay. 
So the, the, those are the basics of what I need to know. All right, well... This will be my next objective. Next time. And... Because I've got... I've got a lecture starting in 10 minutes. But after that is done, I'll probably have some supper and then get back to this. So it might be a, a couple of hours. Two or three hours, maybe. Either way, we'll figure something out. I'm definitely going to continue, obviously. And if you haven't played Outer Wilds and you have no idea what's going on here, that's okay. That's totally fine. I think we're far enough removed from the beginning of the game where whatever you get from this has very little context to you if you've never even played Outer, Outer Wilds before. So it's like... You're, you're still basically spoiling yourself by watching this, but as long as you're okay with that, then it's cool. If not, I strongly recommend you play this game without seeing anything else of this game. Because Outer Wilds and the DLC, which I'm playing now, Echoes of the Eye, it's a great game. It's one of my most important games, and I highly recommend to everybody to at least try. If you don't like it, in the first couple of hours, then you don't like, then you can use a Steam refund, but I strongly recommend everybody at least try this. It's not going to be a game for everybody, but if you like it, you like it a lot. It's that kind of game. All right, well, with that, we'll cut for now, and I will be back streaming in a couple of hours. Until then, have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed it so far, and take care.